Now, the last thing I wanted to briefly mention, if you're brand new to computer programming, is the idea of imports and packages. And this allows you to use what are called software libraries, packages, other various names, which are basically tools and functions that may not be immediately available in code libraries available to you. Now in ArcGIS Pro, the most common one is the ArcPy module that can be imported into standalone Python scripts. And so it makes for a great demonstration of the idea of imports and packages in general, as I'll now show you in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so in this last part of the video, I'll give you a brief introduction to the ideas of packages. And to set this up, let's start with something that you're probably familiar with, which was a buffer command. And I'm gonna show you how something like a buffer command that you might normally use from just button clicking or GUIs, graphical user interfaces, actually can be a window into how you can start doing more programming with packages and so forth. So to set this up, let me close a few things here. And let's just do a really basic buffer of this streams layer. Okay. And so you might be used to doing um, a buffer on something like a line layer like this. And you bring up the tool interface and it wants an input, output, and distance. And notice, by the way, too, we'll come back to this. Notice the little stars that these are required. Okay, and other things are, are optional. Just make note of that, and I'll explain why I pointed that out in a minute. So I'll do a simple buffer. Mifrock streams, and I'll make them 500 meters, and I'll run it, put them on a dissolve and so forth. So I'll run that. And pretty straightforward. Again, something, if you have even a basic um, knowledge of ArcGIS Pro, something you probably learned about. Easy to do with a GUI, a graphical user interface. But now if you're interested in Python, that can actually be sort of an entryway into learning more about using packages and so forth. And earlier in the video, I showed this. So now let's explain this more. So now let's do a buffer. Instead of using the graphical user interface, let's do it using a basic Python command. And to do that, I'm going to bring back the Python window. And this can be a really nice first start of using ArcPy. So ArcPy is the global site package for ArcGIS Pro. And to use it, I type in AR, and you can see that it starts to fill in a letter P for a package. I use my arrow key to up, I hit enter, and then it does it automatically, but just to back up a second, if I put a period or a dot, it'll start to fill things in. And now I'm gonna look for the buffer command, B, U, and sure enough, here it is on the top, buffer analysis. Now take a look at what's automatically filling in on the screen are basically the parameters, not unlike a function that you saw earlier in this video for the buffer command. And notice how there are three required parameters and the rest are optional. And that relates to what we saw over here with the stars. And when you do a buffer command inside of ArcGIS Pro, it's going to try to pull data layers that are in the map, and that's what these are. So if I do streams again, I can use my arrow key, I can use my mouse, I'll use streams. Then I put a comma, and I'm just gonna call it um, test buffer, and this is gonna send it into my default geo database of my project, and we'll look at that when this is done. And then you do have to put a string in if you want to use a distance. And so in this case, I have to put a string. I'll do this one of 250 meters. And that's really it. Those are the three required things it takes for a buffer command to run. And I'm doing that now using ArcPy directly. 
And that's kind of the important point in this, in this video is to show you how you can start to go from a graphical user interface into using computer code syntax. So let's run it by hitting enter. And you can see that it added my 250 meter buffer on top of the one that I did previously using the GUI. Now I didn't use the dissolve option you can see. And if I wanna go back and rerun the command, if I hit the up arrow key, it brings it back up. And I'll give it a new name, I'll call it test buffer one. And to get at the dissolve option, I use commas. And I'll make those blank strings if I don't want to have anything in the parameter. And you can see it's pretty helpful how it's filling things in for me as I get there. And I've got to work my way to dissolve and I'll select dissolve all output into a single feature. Now notice the, notice how it actually put a string all as opposed to what popped up, but that should be sufficient. And I'll make this distance a little different just so we can distinguish it visually. So now test buffer one, if everything worked according to plan, is 200 meters with dissolve compared to my first one that was dissolved. And again, I did that all with very basic Python syntax using the ArcPy module. And that's also a really great way to get started with just coding in general, even if you can figure out basic syntax like that, because if you're new to coding, making sure that you have your commas in the right place, strings formatted correctly and so forth, that in itself is enough of a challenge. And if you can get that to work, you'll build confidence from that. And real quick, just as a recap, remember too that with Model Builder, I showed this model earlier, you can take all of the graphical parts of your model and then export them out as Python files. And then if you open them up in a tool like Notepad++, here you now see import ArcPy and how you are, you have another Python function that's sending parameters in. And in the model, I had a parameter of the distances to use and, and so forth. And where you can go from here is to use scripts like this as a starting point to run Python code outside of ArcGIS Pro using an external IDE, using the Python package manager and so forth that I mentioned earlier in this video. Now, if you're wondering where to go next, after following all of these examples of basic computer programming concepts as available to you in ArcGIS Pro, I recommend as one tangible, practical place to look are the Calculate Field Python examples available through Esri's website and a link to which I've provided below. Now, I think you'll find these to be very useful because they give you little short amounts of Python code that you can plug into your GIS tasks and use that as a basis for learning more about computer programming in general. And in fact, some of the examples I used in this video, I used based on this particular website. So again, the link for this website is available in the video description below. And finally, if these videos have sparked your interest in Python programming in general, definitely take a look at the Anaconda distribution. This is where you can access a wide variety of Python tools related to data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and more. For example, the popular Jupyter Notebooks are available through Anaconda, and you can get access to a wide variety of packages you probably didn't even know existed. And I've provided a link to Anaconda in the video description below. So to summarize, as you've seen through these videos, there are lots of ways for you to start learning about computer programming and Python specifically right inside of ArcGIS Pro. You don't need any extra tools to get started right away 
with learning basic computer programming concepts like those that I showed you in this video. Remember, start small, work with small statements, little scripts and so forth, and I think as you find you becoming successful with that approach, your confidence will grow and you'll want to do more involved in complicated programs and enjoy the satisfaction that comes from writing computer code, having it work, and achieving your career and skill goals. And as a final thought, over time, try to think of ways to use Python. You can think of this as computational thinking. For example, if there's something you're finding that you're doing, such as a repetitive task, such as clicking a button, see if you can write a Python script to do it in an automated way. If you have to work with data values, see if you can use techniques such as string concatenation to make your labels more automated and better presentation as opposed to doing it manually. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, consider subscribing to this channel, or please leave any comments you may have on how to build your computer programming skills using ArcGIS Pro. Thanks for watching.